All right, so obviously I'm extremely, extremely late. Uh, initially, I wanted to make this video right after the banner came out, but as you guys know, the holiday season can be kind of crazy. I had a lot of stuff to do, just a lot of stuff going on over the past couple of days, and I really haven't had a chance to even think about this banner until right now. I know a lot of you guys are probably already done your summons considering the banner's been out for over 60 hours at this point but if not or if you're maybe thinking about going back in then let's quickly talk about it and at the end of this video i also want to do some summons of my own so as far as this uh christmas banner or glittering winter night dokkan festival is concerned it's actually really good value for your stones you know you got the discounts you got the tickets you got some really good featured units all of which are not a surprise considering we had it last year as well but it's just a banner that i feel like most people should feel pretty good about summoning on now let's quickly pop over to the news release here and take a look at the discounts so in total, there are 8 steps. Steps 1 to 3 are discounted multis, so 40 stones as opposed to 50 stones for a full multi, plus 3 tickets for each multi. Step 4 is free, so between steps 1 to 4, you're spending 120 stones for about 5 multis worth of summons. And then steps 5 to 8 are just your standard 3 plus 1, so 50 stone multi. And then fourth step is free, plus the tickets for each multi as well, uh, not including the free multi. So it's pretty standard, but once again, a good deal. And when you couple that with the fact that, you know, you got some of the best units in the game featured, like the tech Gogeta or Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Gogeta as uh, one of the best units in the game. Uh, this guy is very solid as a side unit. And this dude is, in my opinion, still the best unit in the entire game he might not hit the hardest he might not have the best defense but he is one of the hardest hitting units in the entire game he has some insane defense and that 70 percent chance to dodge is just ridiculously clutch in basically every event in the game you know like there's just no overstating how valuable the agl ui goku is and to me in my opinion he's still the best and then the SSB Vegeta is close in terms of performance. I don't think he's as good, but I think uh, in terms of the value he provides, um, you know, the offense, the defense, all that good stuff, he is right up there with the best units in the game right now. And uh, from there, the Blue Boys, still very solid, not quite as good as when they first came out, but provides you with a lot of offense, a lot of damage. Uh, defensively, they could be better. I'll give you that. But on the bright side, they have some of the best looking animations in the game. So there's that. And then we also have the LR Go Bros. And these guys, it feels like they've been featured uh, at least 10 times in the last 12 months. But nonetheless, they are still a very good unit. They can still hit very, very hard. They have an extremely good leader skill. And uh, it's just a great unit to pull if you don't have them. And from there, we have some Dokkan Fest units. So we got the uh, Transforming Boo, the DBS Broly, and UI Goku. This guy with the EZA is absolutely amazing, right? And then we also have SSB Vegeta who needs an EZA, but that's probably coming relatively soon, I would say. And uh, STR Jiren also needs an EZA. Still solid, but could benefit a lot from an EZA. And I feel like that's also coming within the next six to 12 months um these guys okay so the tech vegeto and the str rose the two of them i gotta say at this point are quite outdated but just imagine the possibilities man imagine when these guys get extreme z awakenings especially the vegeto i mean he's probably gonna become the hardest hitting unit in the entire game just think about him with easy a stats with an improved passive I mean, with those, like, infinite super attacks that he fires off, he's going to be so crazy. And I think they're honestly holding off on the EZA because they know just how 
busted he's going to be. So maybe they're like waiting for the power creep to get even more wild. And uh, by the time he comes out with an EZA, it's not going to be as crazy in comparison. I don't really know. I don't really know. All I know is this guy's going to be so ridiculous with an EZA. Right now, he's still fun, but could definitely, you know, be better, right? And this guy, I think, is also going to be really good. Maybe not as broken as the uh, Vegito with the EZA, but he's still going to be really, really impressive. And from there, we have Super Saiyan 3 Broly, who, uh, you guys know how I feel about him. Hits hard, but his EZA could have been so much better. Um, Super Janemba, really good. This Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is solid, but not super impressive. Uh, Fizz Vegito Blue, amazing unit. Amazing, amazing unit. Top tier TUR. And then there's the AGL Rose, who... I don't love, I don't love this guy. Um, his EZA has potential, but it's just the fact that he has like no defense at all when he first enters a fight. So for like Super Battle Road and stuff like that, you have to be really careful with him. And it's just like a unit that I don't like to bring in harder events. So for that, it does hurt him. Uh, what else? Tech Beerus, pretty old. Uh, Inchinemba, old as well, but actually really good still. And uh, is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay, so yeah, a couple of older EZA units, a couple of 120 leads, and then we also have a bunch of uh, Dokkan Fest TURs and then the LRs. So I believe, I didn't count, but I think it's 20 featured units, right? So for that reason, it's actually going to be kind of hard to pull a specific unit that you want. Like if you really want UI Goku, I mean, your chances of pulling him are pretty low. Even with the discounts, the free multi, all that stuff, his his pull rate is something like 0.25%, I think. I think that's how the math works out. I think it's 0.25%, which is very, very low for a featured unit. But if you actually need quite a few of these units, let's say you still need SSB Vegeta, you still need UI Goku, you still need the Gogeta, and uh, maybe some of these other TURs, then this banner is very good for you. The value is there um, at the very least i would say do the first four steps do the 340 stone multis do your free multi do your ticket multi and see what happens and uh if that's all you can afford to do then call it a day right because we do have some other very very good banners right around the corner like the uh new year's banner which is coming out in a couple days so if you guys are excited for that banner you guys are planning to summon on that banner definitely save some stones for the new year step up we might have up to four steps or rather four rounds this year compared to three before i think that banner is definitely still more worth summoning on than this one but it's kind of hard to ignore the, the discounts and some of these featured units and uh yeah that's how i really feel about it man i say at least at least do the first four four multis get that free multi get the tickets and then call it a day, but the decision ultimately, of course, is is up to you guys. But the Christmas banner, I do think, is very good. I'm a fan of it. And with that said, let's do some summons. Now, this is actually pretty ill-advised for me, but it's been a long time since I've summoned, and I just need to get it out of my system, so I'm gonna go for it, but honestly, it's very dumb because <laughs> The only featured unit I'm pretty sure I need is, yo, it's it's the Gogeta, man. It's the Tech Gogeta. If I don't pull Tech Gogeta, every other featured unit for me is just not going to be good because everybody else is rainbowed. AGL UI and SSBE, I rainbowed during the anniversary. Uh, oh. I wasn't thinking about unfeatured units, so that Kaba is unfeatured and I actually still needed one copy of him, so that's actually not a bad pull at all. It's not, not a bad pull at all. But yeah, the Blue Boys are rainbowed, the uh, GoBros are rainbowed, all the TURs, every single one is also done, so like... I really shouldn't be doing this, but as I said, man, I just need to do some summons like my body is going through withdrawals right now you know and uh, I, I just gotta 
I, I just got a pull. So hopefully we get at least one Gogeta. Um, let me know in the comments down below what your pulls, what your summons were. Hopefully you guys did well. And uh, after we're done here, uh, we're just going to be waiting for the New Year's banner and also hopefully Super Vegeta in January. Although there might be something else before him. Let me think for a bit. I think Super Vegeta's next though. But don't confess, right? Maybe. Um, yo, speaking of the New Year's banner, as much as I say it's awesome for like 95% of the player base, it's not a banner that I'm particularly looking forward to just because there are so many LRs that I just don't need, right? And I'm like so sure that whatever guaranteed LR I get is going to be one that I don't need. So as crazy as it might seem, I'm thinking about skipping the New Year's banner this year, which is something I've never done before, guys. I've literally never skipped a guaranteed LR banner, but I think this might be the year. I think this might be the year that I have to do it. <sighs> Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, knowing me, I'll still summon anyways, just because I have problems. But right now, the logical thing in my mind is to skip that banner. Now, I know I said, <laughs> I know I said like five minutes ago that most people should be summoning on this banner. Obviously, this summon or these polls are uh, not really backing up that recommendation, but this can happen on any banner, right? Like, you can't get shafted on, on any banner in the game, so don't, don't let this affect your perception of the banner, I guess. Um, you guys can definitely do a lot better than me. Uh, oh my god, hold on. I thought you could combine these tickets with these tickets. I didn't know there were different tickets, man. I did not know there were different tickets. Well, this is unfortunate. I guess we're doing singles. All right, so I decided to just cut out all the previous summons because they were garbage, but this one is not any better. Yeah, it's the first SSR we got from one of these singles though, but still not great. And let's do one more here. Can we get a fusion? That would be, <sighs> that would have been nice. That would have been nice. All right, well, there you go, guys. The tickets were not so great either. Um, I think I do have two other free tickets here. Let's do those. Why not? Screw it. Let's do these two free tickets, and then we're going to call it a day. Uh, I knew going into this Christmas banner was a bad idea, but I've never had any self-control in the first place, so, you know, <laughs> that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Um, yo, I hope you guys are having some great luck though. I hope you guys pull some fire in your summons. Feel free to flex on me in the comments. Tell me how many UI Gokus you pulled, how many Vegetas you pulled, um, Gogetas, all that good stuff. You know what? Hey, screw this, man. Screw this. Even though I can't pull any Gogetas, I still want dupes in my Gogeta. So this might seem crazy to some of you guys, but it's not crazy to me. I'm by what? Oh, you can't buy Godita with coins. I guess I guess it kind of makes sense because he's relatively new. But I just I just thought you know he's returning. He's on the banner. We should be able to buy him. I guess not. I guess I was wrong. Now I'm upset. Ah, <sighs> I guess my Godita will still have to be at. 55% for the time being. What can you do? Well, guys, there you go. Those are your summons, and that was the uh, pass or pull video. Um, despite the awful summons we just did, my opinion still remains the same. I still feel like the banner is great. I still feel like you should be okay summoning on it, but uh, just make sure to save some stones for the New Year's banner as well as 
the Super Vegeta banner, most likely in January, if my timeline is correct. But yeah, anyways, uh, that's the video, guys. Merry Christmas, or sorry, uh, Merry Belated Christmas. Nobody says that. Happy Holidays. And uh, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. While you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.